What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I got something special and very rare and unique. Check this out, this is a sleeping bag in a can. This is a pretty vintage, got it from eBay, from somebody who have one. I actually searched it online, no videos about that, like that, sealed in a can. Bag, sleeping, vacuum packed. M1949 date packed August 1952 wow 66 years since it was packaged so let's open it up and release this 60 year old air from this can how cool that is look how thick it is this is the bottom what it looks like of course let's make a thumbnail anyways let's open it up and see what's inside I honestly don't even know what to expect there is a key right here I'm wearing glass because it's freezing. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's kind of funny. Okay, right here, what you do is you need to pull it up like this. And then it's so interesting how you open this can. Then you grab this key and put it in. And then all you have to do is just twist it like this. All the way around. Wow. Look at that, how it's opening. Oh, I see plastic bag inside there. Let's open it all the way around. Man, it's freezing today. It's like opening a can of sardine. This is so awesome. Got stuck over here or something. Okay, now that you open it, you have to use actually the same key. I guess I could crack it open, but I want to open it perfectly. So you can do the same thing on this side, looks like. Boom, like that. It's just so satisfying to open a can like this. They don't make things like that anymore much. Ah, kind of tired. I'll open it all the way around. So the lid will just pop off. Pop off. Boom. Now we got here vacuum sealed bag. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look, it rusted a little bit. I guess they can rust it too. Probably going to move to the floor to open the rest of it. Okay, this is what we are dealing with. There is a sleeping bag. Check this out. 62 year old sleeping bag. It says US on it. I guess there's just straps if you want to wrap it up. Okay, makes sense. But look how short that is. Probably will be way too small for that. You know what? Let's put it to the test. Let me lay down. Right now it's like 17 degrees in here. Let's see. If I'm going to get cold or what? Get inside of it all the way. There's some weird powder coming off of it, but hopefully it doesn't hurt me. Check this out. I'm a little bit too tall for this one. Hopefully they have small, medium or large, different sizes. But as you can see, this is not bad. The zipper on the inside, wow, this is awesome. Again, it does not have the hood like new ones. Maybe I'm just too tall for this sleeping bag. Let me know in comments below. But this is cool. Wow, it's brand new. I'm definitely keeping it. I just thought it was really cool that it's sleeping bag sealed, vacuum sealed in a can. I had to check it out and show it to you, it's just so unique. I really do think this is supposed to be a hood and your face coming off from here, but I'm just too tall for this bag. Hopefully back in the day they had different sizes for the tall guys because I would have been in trouble in this sleeping bag. Today we're going to put to the test stove in a can. Let's see what this thing is all about. By the way, when I was ordering it online, 
it looked on the picture a lot smaller so when i got this giant jar i was pretty surprised i thought it would be something like small like that but yeah this is the size of it so that's pretty cool i really like the marketing and design on it all-in-one cooking system quick and easy to start indefinite shelf life so that's awesome you can actually buy one store it somewhere in a survival shelter and it's going to last you for many 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 years anyways let's open it up and see what inside boom stove in the can instruction side here i think this is the feel Kind of hard to get them out. There you go. Just gotta use something to pull them out. Okay, it looks like there's three field bars. No, four field bars. And by the way, you can just buy extra a lot more if you like. Let me open one up. This is what it looks like. Wow, looks like wood chips maybe soaked in with something and first together okay and now the main parts of the stove is this too the real trick is pulling it all out okay this side here and this side here so with this filler in what we're going to do is bend it like this all the way i think that way we put it on the bottom so that way it's not sitting on the bottom of the can so that way it's elevated a little bit and i guess put it inside there and then this part goes right inside here right inside of the can wow check this out looks huge by the way the field bar is gonna go like this you see it's elevated a little bit and it's going to sit inside of the stove can so i'm going to put this metal in, in and then this fill bar right in the middle like this and then optional you can use this lid and put it on top like this so that way you can cook on top right here as well this is optional they say but you can use this so the stove going to look like that i think i'm going to use it like this but first of all I need to light it up and set it on fire and see what it looks like and we're going to try to boil water on top of it okay next what we're going to do is light it up with a match that stuff let's see if how hard it is to light it up oh well, not hard at all there is one piece already lit up I think what I should do is grab a knife and break it up a little bit so that way it's going to start going a lot easier so I'll just break it up right here in the middle okay and then we're going to try to light it up As you can see that fill bar is burning really easily easy to start like they said on a can boom and then you can close it up we're gonna let it burn up for a little bit and then we're gonna cover it up the optional thing you can do is put this cover right inside there and it slides in and it actually looks like a stove that's pretty awesome to me don't you think then this way I can put my pot on top of it and there you go it's going to cook right over it because without this lid i feel like my pot would just slide through it so easily and would not work let's see how long will it take to boil the water the field bar smells kind of weird but yeah look at that paint that's definitely going to burn off after one use not going to be as pretty as it used to be this field tablet smokes a little bit with the black smoke and it smells like paint so i'm not sure what do they use for those field tablets 
but anyways also you can get rid of this top and actually if you have a big enough pot just put the pot right on top of it like this this pot is big enough so it will not have a problem setting it up like that except my pot probably going to turn black just like this cover all right let's see if one tablet will boil the water or not okay it's been about five minutes it's burning pretty good but yeah the flames especially when it's windy actually bigger and they're staying pretty hot and big oh yeah it's definitely very hot it's steaming it's only been like five minutes and looks like it's about to start boiling this is nice looks like in just 10 minutes this size of a pot it will boil water no problem I love these camping pots they're really thin very lightweight and they don't take a long time to heat up okay sounds like the water is starting to boil oh yeah very much so check this out about 10 minutes maybe like 12 minutes on this amount of fire this big pot of water no problem starting to boil pretty impressive I like it so I got my pot and cup of tea we're going to fill it up and make me some tea Hugo it's not for you stop it look at that there's still a lot of fill bar to be burning no problem and boom my tea is done survival water in aluminum can have you ever heard that before water inside of aluminum can I never seen that before ever so I always try to find these super unique cool products and put them to the test taste test them and see what they're all about well this one is pure water blue can 50 years shell life boom check this out so there you go there is a label this is a survival water and what's so special about this water they say in this little aluminum cans the water doesn't go bad for 50 years as long as you store it at between 40 Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit so maybe like in a basement or somewhere something that does not get too cold or too hot all right let's open this up boom looks like regular water let me taste it ah yep tastes delicious honestly I don't think they even make regular water in aluminum can but I wonder what is the shelf life of a coca-cola or like soda drink they probably 50 years anyways let me go double check and I'll come back you know what I actually looked up how long does the regular bottle of water stays good for well FDA actually does not require to put expiration date because as long as you have not opened it the expiration of bottle of water is indefinite so you can keep them for very very long time like 50 years just like this one they just don't expire they do say the taste might change a little bit but rather than that it's still safe to drink so is this survival water or this survival water this is just a cool label but overall they both just as survivable this one will last you for 50 years and not gonna go bad so is this one it's just marketing 101 how to sell survival water put the label on it but in reality they this one is going to stay good as long as this one but what's so special about this water it's an aluminum can i never seen that before okay let's put it in a glass and let's see what this water looks like yep looks like regular water very clear beautiful taste wise if it's chilled cooled water it tastes just the same as this one this is my favorite water by the way i like all natural spring water i don't like as much purified water and look over here it actually says best before august 2068 right here they put expiration date on the water bottles they usually don't even put expiration dates if they do just to know how it was packaged and when it was packaged so let's say the can is warm i just took it out from the house right now it's at 52 fahrenheit 53 52.1 and they say if i shake it up it's supposed to cool off well if i shake it it feels like it's cooler it's getting cool off in my hand 
but does it really does that so let's say if I kept it in the car for a while and you know all the water gets warm and it doesn't taste as good but they say if I shake it up it's supposed to cool off a little bit because the way they pressurize it and the way they package it okay uh, you know what it's actually got warmer not cooler that's something they say it's supposed to cool off but it's not really cool enough it's actually got warmer that's weird also the way they pressurize it if you put it in the refrigerator or in your car and it gets really really cool in the minus it's not going to burst if it freezes inside of it most of the soda pops will just explode inside of your car this one will not because the way they pressurize it but yeah really cool product world first water in aluminum can one disadvantage when you open the water you have to chug it all the way within a couple of hours because you don't have the lid today's video i'm going to do a taste test of oxygen in a can so that's pretty much air in a can what we breathe in it's probably a little bit more concentrate than average but yeah contains 95 percent aviator breathing oxygen 5% ambient air whatever that means and there's a the quick instructions what I'm supposed to do place mask under your nose oh wow I thought it would be oh I guess under your nose so it will be go like that I guess well yep there's a picture cool press trigger oh yeah there is a trigger right here breathe deeply through the mouse there is a little note right here oxygen directly fills 90% of all body and mind functions the average oxygen level in the air is 21% that's what they say boost oxygen is 95% pure aviator breathing oxygen so ABO professional outlets inhale supplements oxygen you seen those football players around 400 yards then they sit down on the bench and breathe into the mask oxygen or whatever they do so I'm pretty sure it's very similar this right here is regular but you know it's funny I think I got also flavored one menthol eucalyptus menthol eucalyptus right here this one is pink grapefruit flavor air peppermint flavor air isn't that funny and natural this is a regular one but this one is the same without any taste but this one is bigger so let's taste test it and see what happens there is a little lid I guess you're supposed to open it that means it's sealed yeah okay that's cool okay I guess all I have to do is put it in my mouth and press it oh and also they talk about it right here what it does aerobic performance recharge and recover altitude and poor air quality in a very very high mountains then you need oxygen mask around here we don't really need those but if you hiking for like I don't know eight miles that might help but anyways let's taste test natural one so again description breathe deeply to the, your mouth okay this weird it just feels like air Tastes a little cold. It's so weird. I don't taste any differently and I don't feel any differently e either. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run down the mountain and back and then I'm gonna try to hit one of these. because right now I'm not really tired so I'm not feeling any differently I feel the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run down over there and run back the mountain and then we're gonna try to breathe in see if it's going to help me from like breathing heavy Oh! 
Uh. Anya na pjel is really hot. Anyways, you see how can't even talk. Anyways. Wow, it definitely helped me a lot faster to be breathing a little bit more normally but I'm still need more air I need a bigger one Oh wow, this one pulls a lot more air I don't know, it kind of helps. It kind of helps, but at the same time, I'm still breathing really, really heavy and I swim all my life. Maybe that thing would have helped a lot. Right before swimming, you hit this thing a lot. And then you go swim for like 50 yards. I bet you can improve your results, but I don't know, is it legal for sports? I guess football players do. It definitely fills up your lungs a lot easier instead of like breathing in air. It helps, helps up, it just fills up your lungs a lot faster. Plus, it has a lot more oxygen than regular air. They say in regular average air 21%, this can has 95%. As you can see, I'm still breathing heavy. It's funny, when I do hit one of this can oxygen, I don't breathe as heavy for a few seconds. And then once all that oxygen goes away from my lungs, I'm, start I'm starting to breathe heavy again. Yeah, I can feel it definitely. As soon as you hit it, you don't even have to breathe as much anymore. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Anyways, this one definitely tastes like nothing. Feels like just a bunch of air coming out. Oh, this is like a fan. Okay, in conclusion for this bottle, it definitely helps me to stabilize my breathing so I don't have to like keep gasping for air anymore. It definitely helps for sure. But physically, I feel the same. It does not give you this extra super power like it's, I don't know, steroids, where you're like, yeah, I keep, can keep running, keep swimming. It's just mostly probably normalizing your breathing a lot. But I'm sure because you're filling up your body with so much air, I mean oxygen, it does help you with your body as well. But won't be mistaken, you will not feel it. It probably does help a little bit, but you will not be actually feeling it. You know what I mean? Because I don't really feel it that much how I'm like, wow, I can run for a lot longer because my legs are still a little bit sore. But anyways, really cool gadget. Now let's taste test a flavor ones. This one is natural as well. Mental Eucalyptus. This is so weird, it's like chewing the gum. It's like a uh, flavor of a gum. And you know what's weird? It does make you breathe easier because you know, all that menthol 
makes your throat kind of chilly and it makes you feel like you can actually breathe better because of the menthol. That's crazy. I can't believe it actually works. Peppermint. Let's try it out. How does this taste? Tastes weird, but it definitely makes you feel like this air is a lot colder than this one. I guess that's what mean does to you. Super cool. I like it. Okay, pink grapefruit. That's interesting. I wonder what it's going to taste like. All right, there goes nothing. Ugh. That makes me gog. I do not like that taste. That's so weird. Why would they do pink grapefruit? Tastes a little sweet, but it's so weird. I guess it does taste like grapefruit with a little bitterness as well. I don't know. It's just so weird. Oxygen in the can. Would you use it or not? So what do we got? Japanese canned bread. And this one I never seen before. This is a little cute panda. That's pink. It's for you. Okay. And you know it's what? It's Women's Day. Yeah, it is Women's Day, March 8th. Uh, ha happy, happy Women's Day, all the women. Is that what you say usually? I forgot. I don't know. I honestly never even heard of it until I met you. Yeah, in Russia it's huge. In but Europe. now it's such a huge thing. All of Instagram, YouTube does it. So. Yeah, so you're supposed to give flowers to all the women you know. I get bread. <laughs> you get bread. Anyways, this thing is all in Japanese. We have no idea what it says. So, I think each different color is could be different flavor. That's my guess. Maybe. Maybe it's just cute. I know it has a picture of a microwave on it on the back and it has a 20 so I assume maybe you microwave it for 20 seconds yeah but you know what we're going to do since we have so many we have to taste them all in case the different flavor and half of them will toast it we have a toaster yeah, we right do here. have the toast good idea let's pop it open one we have no masla oh yeah no, no butter oh well it's okay so let's pop one open and see what it's all about. I'm gonna start with this one. I like the cans that is easy to open. Ow! Not so easy actually. Ugh, where is my gadget? Whoa! Did you hear all the air pressure went out in it? If it's from Japan, you're releasing it to Japanese air particles. Mmm, yeah, Japanese air bread. <laughs> Ew, this one smells different. I like this one. This one smells fruity. Doesn't it? I kind of don't like that smell. Let me smell. Oh my god. This is better. This, this is cinnamon. This smells like coffee. Yeah, like chocolate or something. Whoa! <laughs> this is a cupcake. This is not a bread. Look at that. Look, it has like chocolate chips in it. It is chocolate chip bread. Have you ever had anything like that? Oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited. Wait, this is paper. I almost beat into it. Oh. Is it? Oh, it is a cupcake. It yeah, is like it a is cupcake bread. It shows him. So on the bottom right here, this is actually paper. Don't eat that. But, wow, I can't wait. I was really about to like start <laughs> crumbling it up. I know, I'm buying <laughs> it into it. Okay, I need to take mine out. Whoa, Ooh. yours actually looks like bread, mine not a cupcake. Mine looks like a bun. Let's open all of them just to see what they look like. Or should we eat one at a time? Let's do a bite. Cheers. Mmm. I think I win. My taste like bread with like chocolate flavor. Mine tastes like regular bread with initial can flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that looks so good. We call bread like that in Russian bulochka. Bulletka, it's a sweet bread. I love it. I want a chocolate chip. This is better though, because it's chocolate. Mm. It's good, isn't it? You know what we should do? Next can, 
We're going to taste test it and toast it. Do they have these on the vending machines in Japan? I seen it, but different can. I never seen this kind of can. Oh, okay. So you're just walking around and you're like, man, I really want some bread. I know, in a can. I want some. <laughs> Here's a hundred yen. Boom, you got a piece of bread in a can. Nice. We'll have to do that. One. We will. Oh, by the way, we're going to Japan in like two weeks. March 27th through April 5th. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you live in Japan, look for a really tall person. Also, let me know <laughs> in the comments below what should I film there. I mean, we. If you've ever been there and we're open to suggestions, um, we're kind of just doing it without a whole lot of plans. So. Yeah, but it's going to be a lot of fun anyways. This is why we're doing this video. Okay, which one you want to open? I want the yellow one. I know Number one, white one. It like bananas. That one looks like a pink one. Yeah. But it doesn't smell, that smells like King's Hawaiian. Hawaiian bread? Yeah, you know those rolls I always get? Yeah. That's, it smells just like it. It's so good. I love how soft it is and so easy to break it apart. Do I have to eat this one? Oh, it doesn't smell as good. Why well, always get the one Here, you, we good. can switch. Do you want to uh, toast this bird, see what happens? Okay. Let's toast this one, see if it's going to taste better when it's warm. Got my coffee toaster over here. Anyways, so we'll take the paper out from this thing and toast it. Whoa, that looks good. That does look good. Ooh, smells good too. <laughs> <laughs> this one a bit dirty, but okay. There's a mop so head. just half as good, right? Um, I don't really want to put this in. It's okay. Oven, toaster oven, but check out this bread, it's so soft and so fluffy because if you squish it together, it look almost nothing. It does feel like kind of moist. I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, definitely mm. squish it. You ever watch those deep internet bread videos on YouTube? Oh, it's like satisfying videos? Yeah, and people smash it with their fangs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I think I've seen it on one of those comedy channels. I don't know, making fun of it. They really do. They're just like, <laughs> first they're like... Here's my bread! <laughs> Smashing bread no. video! <laughs> no? No, it's more sensual. I'm not going to do it because okay. it probably... Fine, I do it. <laughs> no. You gotta like. Oh no, I'm, I'm more violent. It's okay. <laughs> You're not if I, if I think, if I think of like people smashing bread, I always want to like oh, violently smash it. Why would you soft smash it? I kind of want to though. Know, okay. In I my see. fingers, you know. Yeah. It's like slime and. I could open up bread yoga. And we kind of just stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, stirs bowl. There you go. And would it be pretty crummy? <laughs> I like it. It makes a lot. Of <laughs> YouTube. Okay, it's done. Just warm. Is mine? Is yours over there? Smells good. Okay, they actually did toast it. Mmm. I kind of like it warm. Oh yeah. It even smells like fresh bread mm -hmm. I know it feels like it came out of the oven you know this is what they serve at restaurants yeah secretly. <laughs> <laughs> they just toast it on my cans. you don't like yours I don't like this one let's see it kind of tastes like cotton candy like watered down cotton candy it has no flavor that's why I really thought they were just pretty. I didn't know they were all going to be different flavors. Yeah, I love the cans. It has so many markings. Here, pick one. You want this one or this one? Uh, just give me my fate. Because I, I, I pick them and they're not good. You're going to like this one. Oh, this smells like toilet. God, this smells... It does not smell good at all. It doesn't smell like toilet. But it, it smells, smells like... bad. Like meat, that's the problem. Yeah, it smells like meat. Why is bread smells like meat? 
Maybe it's meat bread. I like most of them. I might like this one as Steak well. flavored bread. Ooh. Buffy. Wow, yours is brown. Yeah. Okay, that one yours smells, smells good. Yours smells like chocolate. Again. That one smells real good. Such a fun package. Hmm. I like that one. That one is so really sweet. This one's my favorite. Even though it stinks. Somehow we save the best ones for last. Mm -hmm. Try it. I'll try yours. <laughs> you break this open. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> mm. This one is like cacao flavor, isn't it? This one's the best. My oh, yeah. initial taste of this one tastes like vegan ice cream. Mmm. I love vegan ice cream. And this tastes just like it. We're not vegans, by the way. We just like all the food. Are you excited to go to Japan? Super, man. I looked up a few things about Tokyo. Oh my gosh, so much to do. All the vending machines, museums, all these buildings. I can't wait. We were first afraid for a while because we don't speak Japanese and we're kind of afraid how difficult is it going to be but from everything that I've seen it's not going to be too difficult and with technology these days I think we'll manage yeah we'll manage and we're going to meet one YouTuber on one day that's going to be pretty exciting to make some videos of vending machines cannot wait to show you who it is Teraz once we booked it and then Taraz just magically every single day he's like, Do you know what they have in Japan? <laughs> these gadgets and these vending machines and these cafes. I know I know like Oval Cafe and like Puppy Cafe and stuff like that, Cat Cafe. But I'm also gonna try like McDonald's in Japan because it's gonna be a completely different menu. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. We'll tell you a sad story. One time we went to Tahiti yeah. and there's a McDonald's right in the Tahiti airport and it had the craziest menu but you know we had just traveled a really long time so we didn't make a video or eat there mm -hmm. and we we're like when we come back fly out we'll make a video well we didn't realize when we flew out it was a kind of odd hours and it was closed yeah i was so disappointed because i wanted to make a video over there but it's okay i've done a lot of videos in Bora Bora. you guys seen them all right it's done here's the bird mmm bulletka yeah i always see it's better when it's hot tastes like just came out of the oven even though it's kind of just did i'm gonna <laughs> trick your family have a family dinner and be like, ah, baked. This bread. <laughs> and then they're like, actually, it came out of the can. It's five years old. <laughs> <laughs> It'll last you. I think it expires in 2022. No, mine is 2024. So imagine this bread is probably a couple years old and it stays in there so soft. That's the coolest. It's like MRE bread from Japan. There you go, guys. And my videos is probably back. radiation bread. I like it. <laughs> Chernobyl. <laughs> okay, what do you think was better, this canned bread or the American canned bread? Yeah, BB is something that you can buy at the Ingalls and grocery store. I think I like this one way better. I remember not liking some of the bread. That's true. It's still bread. Mm -hmm. Bread is good. You put some butter on it, put some pavidla, I don't know. And Push it's going to be delicious. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that's pretty much it. Let us know in comments below what do you think about this video. And we'll see you next time. Give us suggestions for Japan or we'll buy more Japanese stuff. They have a lot of cool stuff. Let me know in comments below what Japanese gadgets I should get to over there. Because they're really expensive to buy from here. The shipping is insane. But yeah. Oh my gosh, we're going to come back with five suitcases, <laughs> just full of junk. <laughs> yeah, video's idea set for the rest of the year. Okay.